From East Portal Mouth, the way continues with interesting landscape until one of 57 National Coast Watch lookout stations, all manned by volunteers, is reached. This is at Prawl Point and is the 14th of 23 along the Southwest Coastal Path. If you want to know more, see the link below the video. We go around Start Point and its lighthouse to the derelict and abandoned village of Hall Sands, a village destroyed by dredging just off the beach by the Admiralty. If you want to know more about Hall Sands, see the link below the video. More cliff walking eventually brings you to the interesting features of Tor Cross and Slapton Sands. Tor Cross was part of an area of Devon where several villages were cleared in 1943 in preparation for the D-Day landings. The nearby Slapton Sands being thought similar to the Normandy beaches. It was here that Exercise Tiger went disastrously wrong leading to over 1,000 Allied deaths through enemy action and what is now called Friendly Fire. Again, if you want to know more about Exercise Tiger, see the link below. From here it's only a four mile walk to Stoke Fleming, a small village whose only claim to fame is that it is the final resting place of one George Parker Bidder, who I hear? He was the calculating boy, a mathematical child prodigy who was made to demonstrate his genius at fairs and travelling shows by his father. He was eventually given an education and was instrumental in early railway engineering, working closely with George Stevenson and many others. A short but rugged walk delivers you to the Dart Estuary, Dartmouth Castle and then Dartmouth itself, an interesting, attractive town with a station cafe but no station.
regular ferries are available to cross the Dart to Kingsweir, where there is a good view of the Naval Academy, or to give it its full title, Britannia Royal Naval College, which is across the river in Dartmouth. Kingsweir is also where the station is. Another rugged and this morning misty section of the way leads to Brixham, a further 10 miles ahead. Continuing beyond Brixham, and now well into Tor Bay, the wide sweep of Broadsands opens up, with the Dartmouth Steam Railway running just behind the beach. Its viaduct having been constructed by Brunel. The Tor Bay honeypots of Paynton, Torquay and Babacoom follow. These are all part of the so-called English Riviera. <laughs> 